Alright, so welcome back to a new Making Sounds with the Pro 800. And uh, alright, so let's uh, build the patch number one. I'm gonna be going to a default patch. Make sure you're, you know, you're standing on an init patch. And if I play it... It's gonna sound like that, maybe it's a little bit too much. Alright, so on this one I'm gonna be using a little bit of overdrive on this one. But I want something that says wow. That's that's pretty much what I want. So I'm gonna be staying on the oscillator one. I'm gonna keep it. You know what? I'm gonna do a square. I'm gonna go right here, go all the way up. And this one I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go to a square and make sure they are squares. Right, so uh this one again, let's maybe You know what? I'm gonna keep it uh, I'm gonna keep it there. Well for now I'm gonna keep it on the same one, but I'm gonna be doing a little bit of sync. Now, if we change this, you're going to be changing the nature of the sound. This is completely up to you. Maybe I'm going to leave it around here. You know, same frequency for now. But I'm going to be changing the pulse width. This one is going to be down, and this one is going to be up, and you can already hear the change in timber. Maybe it's a little bit too loud. So I believe that's fine. Now, in terms of level, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a little bit too loud. I'm gonna be going less on both. And maybe on this one, you know, we can do a little bit more and go down on this one. Alright, it sounds fine now, but, you know, we still need a little bit more. I'm gonna go to the filters and do a little bit of cutoff, almost around, you know, 50%. And then go up on the resonance and let's see how it sounds. And I want a smooth sound, but not so smooth. So maybe we can do a little bit of envelope, just a little bit. And I'm gonna go to the keyboard control, and I'm gonna go up on the on the keyboard control. Now I'm doing just a tiny little bit, right? Just a tiny little. You can see the values right there at the top. All right. Now if I go to the envelopes, we need to make this wow. Remember? So uh, attack is gonna be all the way down, and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of decay. I'm gonna stay around the 200s, maybe 300s, sustain all the way down, and for now the release all the way down, and on the maybe the VCA all the way down, and the sustain all the way up, and the K all the way down, attack all the way down. Let's see if we get that one. You know, we get it, we get it. And that's what I, you know, that's what I mean when I say wow. It's pretty short, you know, if you want more wow, you can you can go up on decay and you're going to be getting... If you go up more resonance, you're going to get more. Maybe I'm going to stay around there. Alright, so I like it. Okay, so uh, on this synthesizer, you can change the shape of the envelopes. Remember, you can do that. So for that, we need to enable the perf. And when we touch the keypads, we're going to be accessing the different params. One of the params is going to be the envelopes. So if I go to the four, you have the VCA envelope shape. This is the one we want. And right now, the VCA is going to be a slow and linear. I'm going to leave it as it is, and but I'm going to be changing the cutoff the VCF envelope shape. By default, it's going to be the same, slow and linear. But, you know, we can change it to something else. Maybe I'm going to be changing it to uh, fast, fast and exponential. No, I want that linear. I'm going to be changing it to fast and linear. Notice it's a little bit more snappy now. Do you want the one? It's not so snappy. It's a little bit more... It's a little bit open, and I'm gonna like, you know, the this one. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this one. Maybe if we check the other one. I don't like it that much, you know, I'm gonna go back and stay on slow and linear. Maybe we can use the LFO, since we are using squares, we can modulate the pulse weight, uh, the pulse width, just a tiny little bit. So, in this case, if you want to modulate the pulse width, I'm gonna need to enable the pulse width modulation, for the A and the B in this case, and then we need to do something. Maybe I'm going to be staying on a sine wave. And I'm going to be going up on the amount. And it is that we already get a change. Now this is the frequency, how fast it goes. I'm going to stay around 600 and something. Now we don't need to go that much, you know, that crazy. 
Maybe we can do a, just a tiny little bit. All right. Okay, so let's do some effects because if I play this, it sounds fine, but you know, it lacks a little bit of attitude and a little bit of depth. So uh, I'm gonna be using an overdrive. You don't need to use this if you don't want. I love using overdrives. And if I have to show you how it sounds, I'm gonna be turning this on. And as soon as you turn it on, you can hear that it's just adding color. All right, so I'm gonna go up. And everything is on default, on noon. Maybe I can do a little bit of overdrive. It's gonna go maybe a little bit too loud, but you know, you can control the levels a little bit less and maybe a little bit up on the tone. And notice that we get a lot of attitude now. And if maybe it's too loud, gonna go down. So that's how it sounds with the overdrive. I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna see the difference. So yeah, saturation, overdrives and all of this is just gonna give you, uh, you know, a little bit more bite. You know, it's just gonna be a little bit more colorful. Okay, so let's uh, do a little bit of, all right, so let's do a little bit of delay. And as you know, this is my favorite delay. It's the one I used uh, the whole time. Um, uh, what am I going to use? Well, it depends. We have a lot of different modes. I'm going to be using tape because I like it. And if, since this sounds vintage, why not using tape? Now, if I go to the green one, uh, this has a million different modes. And if you want, if you have this pedal, you need to commit some, you know, the colors to memory. The green one is, uh, is an old tape type of uh, delay. And the thing one and the thing two, they mean or they function, they give you different functions, uh, depending on which type you're selecting. The one is gonna be the modulation depth that you get with tape, you know, with tape delay, and the mod rate. So on this ones, I'm gonna keep them almost at noon. The output is at noon, and for now, I'm just gonna go keep feedback of 50%, and I'm gonna be doing some tap tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's gonna give me the tempo. Now, if I turn this on, let's see how it sounds. Right, so that's fine, but it's a little bit too much, right? So maybe a little bit less of feedback. Uh, I'm gonna be maybe keeping the tone around there. This is just, you know, makes it darker or just brighter. You know what? I'm gonna go to this side, make it darker. And uh, on this wall in the mix, maybe it's just a little bit too much. All right, so if I play it now, Right, so it's gonna be like that. Now, if you hear the repetitions, they have the modulation, they have a pitch modulation. Now, let me go up on the feedback. Right, so I love this. Uh, this is more of the tape delay type of thing. And depending on the time, depending on what you're playing, you need to set the time. This is a, you know, sync type of the delay. If I go down, we're gonna be getting something like that. Faster. But for now, maybe I'm gonna keep it around there. Maybe I'm gonna keep it in quarter. Right, so I like it, but maybe it's just again a little bit too aggressive. I'm gonna go down in the mix. If I go all the way down, you get nothing. Just want to tiny a little bit. Last but not least, it's going to be the reverb. I'm going to turn on the reverb. By default, uh, everything is pretty much at 50%. I'm going to stand on Hall because it's, you know, the most common type of reverb that we use, at least on synthesis. Maybe on guitars is a different thing. Uh, the decay, I'm going to make it more. Let's see how it sounds. A little bit too much, right? So maybe a little bit less right here, but we can go down on the level. This because we are getting a lot of reverb and not too much of the dry sounds. What is it now? Since we are doing a reverb, we are just washing everything. If I turn this off, the delay is you know. A little bit annoying, but if I turn this on... It's just, you 
know, makes it a little bit better. It's just like blending the overdrive and blending the, the, the uh, delay. Now, if I turn all the effects off and we remember... This is how it sounded. Now, remember, maybe if I bring this without, you know, the overdrive, this is optional. It's a little bit less aggressive, right? If I do chords, it's a little bit better. Now, if I use the overdrive, I, maybe if I want to do chords, I wouldn't bring an overdrive. Or maybe I will just, you know, cut a little bit of the higher frequencies. Because this saturates everything and it's going to be way too aggressive if I do multiple keys. Since we have a lot of more frequencies, this is going to, you know, just do that. But if we play single keys for a lead, I think this is fine. All right, so let's build the second patch of the day. Make sure you start on a default one that should be like that. All right, so on this one, I want smooth keys. I'm going to bring both oscillators in level all the way up. I'm going to bring down the saw and I'm going to just use a triangle for now. Uh, if I, I want to do chords with this, so if I play a chord, it's going to sound like that. Cool. I'm going to be separating with the fine, the oscillator B from the A, just a tiny little bit. Uh, okay, for now it's cool. So we are just using a triangle. Now, I want some keys, so I want to get a little bit of release. I'm going to go around 600, around there. And if I play it now, you know, we get those keys when I play chords. I'm going to be cutting off some frequencies. I'm going to stand around 50% and maybe a little bit of resonance around 60. Why not? Let's see. I want that sound, you know, smooth keys. But still, if you want more harmonics, we're going to try with this saw in a minute. But for now, this is going to be, you know, my starting point. I'm going to be going to full right here on the keyboard control. Alright, so all of this is pretty much done. If I go down on the sustain, it's going to sound like that. If I go up on the modulation, notice that we get a clicky sound at the beginning. We could use this, maybe just to, just to bring a transient at the beginning. If I open it, if I open it more, we're going to get that. Which in this case is something I don't want. I'm going to keep it really close so we can get that clicky sound at the beginning. Like a, it's like a pluck sound. Again, if you don't want it, you can open it and do less modulation right here on the envelope. It's going to be a lot smoother. In this case, I want the clickiness, so I'm going to be going back and all the way down on the decay. All right, so again, release is going to be up. Let's see what we do with the uh, the amp envelope. I'm going to be going up on the sustain and maybe up on the decay. Now, if the sustain is too much, always you can go down, right? If it's just, you know, too long, you go down. Everything I'm doing right here, I'm just giving you templates. That's pretty much it. And then you just, you know, change it to suit it to whatever it is that you want to do. Now, uh, of course, the sound of this is just, you know, pretty smooth. Now, it's because we have a triangle. If you want more harmonics, maybe we can bring a saw. And it's a completely different sound. We can still do chords. It will sound good. Good. All right, so I'm going to keep it like it is, but in this case, I'm going to maybe uh, go back to the triangle and then, you know, we're going to, we're going to try with the saw. In terms of modulation, um, I don't think I'm going to use the polymod. If we want to do a little bit of modulation with the B, uh, maybe we can go to frequency of the A and go up on this one. And that's, again, a completely different sound just by switching a knob. 
Uh, in this case, I'm gonna go all the way down. I don't want it. But if you like the other sound, you can use it, of course. Now, I want a little bit of vibrato when I move my mod wheel. If I play something and I move my mod wheel up, it's all the way up and nothing happens. So we need to set up the vibrato. I'm gonna go to performance. And when you go to perf, right here, you can have a bunch of options. Uh, this one right here at the top is going to be the vibrato, the speed, and then you have the mod wheel options. So first to get some vibrato, we need to uh, set it up. So right now the amount is going to be zero. We need to do something. And for now, I'm going to go all the way up on my mod wheel. I'm going to be playing it just to see how much we get from this. And that's it, you know, I'm going to keep it on 71. And if I go down, of course, this is maybe too much. I'm going to be going down on my mod wheel. But when I want, I can go up and get that pitch modulation. All right, so that's done. If we bring the uh, saw and bring the pitch modulation, it's going to be a little bit more obvious. Now, if you go again to this right here, you're going to get the speed. So you can just, you know, fine tune the speed. I'm going to leave it in defaults for now. Okay, so this is the sound I'm going to be using. I'm going to try it with a saw and without without a saw. And I'm going to be using three different effects. The first one, this one is going to be optional. All right, so this is a tremolo. Uh, then we're going to do the chorus, of course. But you can use a tremolo to add a little bit of movement. And if you think about this, we do have something like this on the synthesizer. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using a pedal. Now, the pedal's mono. So if we put this after the chain, uh, if this one is stereo, is stereo, it's not going to work. So this one is mono. Now, this one has an independent mo mo volume. When you turn it on, I need to go up. If I go all the way up in depth, you're going to be able to hear what it does. And it goes up and down in volume. Now, you have top tempo, so you can Tab your tempo, or you can go faster. I need to tap the tempo again. And you have different shapes. I'm using just a sine wave right now. Now, I'm showing you this because tremolos are super useful. They give you, you know, that vintage sound. Now, if I go to the saw and enable the saw just to get a little bit more harmonics, Pretty sure you can hear the effect. I'm gonna go, go, go up. It's too much, but you know, just a tiny little bit is gonna help. Now, all of this, you know, this tremolo is optional. Then we have the chorus, and you know, with the chorus, we're gonna make it wider. If I turn this on, there you go. That's what I wanted. You know, just a normal, nice, all round keys patch. I'm going to turn off the uh, the uh, the saw, and if I play it, again, completely different. And all of this is just on default, right? It's almost noon. I can do a little bit of lag, less of lag, or just make it, uh, you know, less on the depth. We're going to be getting less coarse. But in this case, I want something, a, you know, a little bit more aggressive. So I'm going to be going up on the depth. I want that modulation that we get from the course. If I go to the saw and the triangle on the oscillator number one. I like it. It's a little bit too loud. I'm going to be going down in the, you know, the volume. And you always need to be aware when you use pedals. You know, aware uh, of how loud it is. All right, so I guess it sounds cool even without using the reverb, you know. I get the smoothness I want from this patch. We can still hear the clickiness, even though, you know, we are just, you know, modulating and, you know, getting the chord, the modulation from the chorus. We still get that clicky sound. Now, I'm going to be enabling this. You don't need to go really aggressive. I'm not. I'm going to go to a less level. Maybe I'm going to stand on a hull. You don't see it, but it's going to be a hull. Maybe long decay and maybe less tone to make it darker. And again, if I turn it on, 
You know, we cannot hear it a lot because it, it levels all the way down. If I go all the way up, you get the reverb, right? So I'm going to be going down. The, the, I think the chorus is just enough. And that's with the saw. If I go and turn off the saw, we get a completely different patch. And if I go up on the saw, just like we did before, and remember that the poly mod, we can do a frequency, frequency modulation, it sounds... <laughs> weird. There's like three patches for the price of one. And maybe we can find a good spot for this one. Um, again, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna go all the way down and keep the saw. I like it, you know, with the saw. All right. Okay, so that's it. So hopefully you liked all of this and you learned something new. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe. And if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee, just to say thanks, you can. Go to the links at the description or you have the QRs at the screen. You have PayPal. You can check uh, out the Patreon of this channel. And uh, you have YouTube. Thanks. See you on the next one.